Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. We did see Team Execution C and Execution Q last time. So now we're going to do Execution D. Which will just basically be one cutscene with a decision at the end. So we can sit, relax for a bit yet. And hopefully we'll get into our first room escape puzzle during the second half of this episode. When a After it tells us, hate oh. oozes calamity. Hmm. So, a moment when hate becomes calamity. That was a little different. That doesn't involve Maybe it's not the disease. Also, they didn't show us all the huh? rooms. It's an anagram. You oh, reorganize the letters another into another sentence. I thought Why it do you be. think it's an anagram? Has she seen the before? I've seen something yeah. like this before. In another place. Anyway, where's Sigma? So Phi has her memories of BLR. As well. What are you looking at? Which, if I remember correctly, the point of VLR what was so that boss? Sigma and Phi had their memories during this. Messing around with the force quit box. Force quit box. Hmm, that's interesting. I see a keyboard on it too. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, hmm. the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. Yeah, it's just to hear a mass passion. Eventually, one of them will work, right? Oh. I shouldn't have thought it would oh, be that easy. Oh, the iron under the couch. We need a hint. That was Maybe a mistake. Maybe it says something on the underside. Nope. Won't budge. Is it heavy? Heavy doesn't even begin to cover it. <laughs> I doubt it's made out of anything from Earth. Well, you are getting up there, Sigma. What do you say? My body's. Oh, half the game. Still got it. I'll just give it a try. <laughs> you weren't lying. <laughs> See, I told you. It's young Sigma's body. You can do it. This is oh, the here's our map. Day, right? Looks like it. Here's our room list. There's a healing room and a transporter room. Trash disposal, manufacturing. And we can go wherever we want, so long as it's okay. within this ward. Yes, that's what Zero said. Okay, now we're getting our view of the rooms. Healing. Room. I remember there was something like there was a pod room in VLR, transporter. That's probably going to be incredibly important. Manufacturing. Trash disposal. Okay. All right. And We've the locker the room, room has the something in it. You didn't find any exits? No, of course Obviously, not. Obviously, we are in a bomb shelter after all. If there were several exits, it defeat the purpose it was built for. That's true. So Zero told the truth. Oh. And opening the X door is the only way out. Mira! Eric! Can you hear me? No, of course not. Did he just call him Ten Yoji? He did. We wouldn't hear a drunk toga party at full Sorry, I'm just readjusting on the couch here while I relax for this cutscene. We need six passwords to get this door to open. I think that was a slip to call him yeah, Ten Yoji. Like a, a not a slip on like the writer's part, a slip on Sigma's part in character. Is that the cease list, X pass list. Sigma, why don't you try dying once? 
<laughs> I politely but firmly refrain. What about you, Diana? Uh, hey, uh, no. Figured. I like the dynamic of the VLR team a little better. Certainly better than the Q team dynamic. Eric's just an asshole. Mira's just kind of there. This is probably something that's not coming across in translation. Oh, okay, so Phi is completely aware oh, of what's going on. He mentioned that back at Decom, that his consciousness had come back from the Oh, he just told everybody? That's correct. That's why I know what will happen in the future. I must have spent the past five days warning all of you. If nothing changes, mankind will be destroyed. Kane, Phi, and I infiltrated Decom to stop all that from happening. Phi? Is this true? Oh, well... Would you believe me, if I said that it was? Then why are all of us trapped in this strange place? If you know the future, then you could have prevented it. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. I thought... No, okay, no, that makes sense. Because... I'm trying to remember... The ending. Oh, sorry, the ending of VLR, where Akane tells Sigma he has to. It's it's the bit where he sees his robotic hands, where he tells her, she tells him that he has to play this one. That must have been after for her to know that there is one, right? Because he loses, he, cause he has his arms right now. He loses his arms in this. So Akane should have been able to tell them. But, I mean, I remember that ending, so obviously she didn't. So they should have been able to know what goes on. Like who? Sorry, but that's pretty unlikely. Remember? The staff stationed in DCOM can't communicate with us right now. The simulation is attempting to stay true to an actual... Okay, Mars so they are on their Mars simulation right now. ...six months between Earth and Mars. In that time period, Earth will have rotated halfway around the sun. Which me means... Not knowing in the slightest. the spaceship reaches Mars... The Earth is behind it. With the star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the lead up. We We've been doing experiments for the past five days. Transmissions will re establish on December 31st at 2330, which leaves us. Not knowing in the slightest that to do this. No I hope that gets patched. It may already be patched. Pretty sure the decom staff won't notice any problems until that time. It may just be a hardware issue on my end. Siblings. You're totally in sync. <laughs> Who do you think Zero is? Akane. Do you guys know who Zero is? No, I haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. What How do you know about what happened a year ago? More thing for sure. Think about it. Why oh, was Zero Tenyoji. to us pre Akane. Right. They've they've interacted. There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or Zero Seems unlikely that she's dead. That's way more likely. I bet it's Eric. I'm gonna throw my hat in and say that Zero is Eric. Why did this have to happen to me? I should have never listened to Rebecca. 
Rebecca. Cool. Can we get Diane's backstory? I called her Diane again tonight. It's Diana. Or robot. She told me that they were searching for a nurse willing to participate. Well, yeah, it would help to have medical staff. There is another reason why I decided to join. And the dog. Okay, so everybody does get it. But I'm guessing that D team doesn't send Gab through the vent again to the next team. You're up five. You want me to go in there? It's clearly impossible. You sure? I won't repeat myself. Um, my boobs are a D's. Your pants are on fire. It's true. <laughs> it seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. Growing is natural. You were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? What is this? Is that Wait, a coaster? that's not how that works, Vi. You don't grow 45 years in the past. So we're voting Q. And someone else wrote Q team, got it. I get it. By spreading out the votes, they're suggesting we make it a tie. Looks like Q team agreed. Seems so. I guess Gab passed through Ward C to Ward Q and ended up here. It'll work! Now none of the teams will have to die. Hmm. Very good. And the paranoia. The oh, vote time. So that's probably why the dog never went anywhere, because we don't have much they had no time by the time they got messaged, they couldn't send anything back. I don't like how half the time I can't tell that that's happened. That's the, that's the worst part of it. Alright. Team is planning to betray us? No, I doubt it. That's what they intended. They didn't have to send Gap. They only have to decide to vote for D Team. Then you mean there's a chance that C Team will betray us? Maybe there's a chance, yeah. That actually vote for Q Team. Actually vote for Q Team. Well, how do we do that? To make us choose Q Team. If Jump, he had his way. Idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm just saying, it's a possibility. Every group has a devil on their shoulder. But what should I do? Oh my God! The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q teams voted. Voting for C team. So we have no choice but to choose Q team. It's Otherwise, true. our single vote could cause the death of all of C team. It's it's true. Being the third puts them in an awkward position where, yeah, because the dog came, Q must have voted for C. So if we vote for C, they're dead, so we have to vote Q. I'm voting Q regardless, at least the first time through. We'll come back to the decision later. But, uh... They raise an excellent point right at the end. Although... The dog does get sent before they actually vote. So it is possible that Phi is wrong, and the dog just shows up and then... They didn't vote that way anyway. Fies under the assumption that Q sends the dog after already voting, which he does. Oh yeah, okay. Everybody goes to keep the memories. I 
I'm starting to think that there is no memory loss drug, despite us having seen it on red coin. Because why would there be? If you vote, you don't get injected with it. If you don't vote, you're dead. So there's no reason to waste the memory thing. Alright, I'm going to drop a quick save. Pudding. Alright, so now we've got... Oh, shit. We've got tons of options here. We've got... Akane with a chainsaw. Playing pool. That looks like... Akane versus the other two. It's just a bunch of Akane... I, we gotta see where Akane is going with a chainsaw, right? Like... I'm not the only one thinking that, correct? Suspicion. This is the pantry. If I'd paused, I probably could have read that. Oh, so this is eighteen oh five, would be six oh five. So is this before execution then? Because it all takes place on New Year's Eve, right? Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? It's been a long time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. <laughs> You know, no, Carlos, the paranormal. This has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Junpei, he's very... So she does, he doesn't know about the boat, then. He's very important to me. Like, he Only kind of knows about the I've boat, but he doesn't know about the details own. of the boat. That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very kind, thank you. But that's not exactly what Junpei always said. I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. <laughs> I never found my myself bullied or anything, but it still seemed as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Junpei was different. Probably, you know, the whole psychic time traveling mind thing. Whenever I was troubled. Once Especially during we Sudoku's. Young, I was crying over Sudoku's something. are hard. He faced the enemy alone. He sounds like he's a comic book hero. No, he yes. just solved the Sudoku. To me, he is, at the very least. But this past year has completely changed him. It seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow, then this time I need to rush to his aid. Who's That's the kid Tenyoji had? You really like Junpei, don't you? And is it cute? What in the world are you saying, It was Carlos? Quark. I'm out of my depth when it comes to romance. I think. My which means it might be Q. Stories, Q might be the same so kid from VLR. Which would explain why Tenyoji brings it. I can tell if someone's in love. If... Does that mean there isn't anyone like that for you? That mm. important? There is. Because I'm trying to think if there's only my three survivors from this into VLR. Sunshine my life. Diana is not so one of them. Complex. She's dead. Uh, Sigma makes a robot. In her image, I assume is to honor her memory. Sigma survives. Phi survives. Akane survives. Uh, Jumpy survives. We can assume Q is Quark. So it's between Carlos, Mira, and Eric. One of them survives. Oh shit, we actually get to do this now. 